Once upon a time, villages communicated with one another using smoke signals, which is widely viewed to be the first form of telecommunication. There was a slight problem, however. If it was a little bit cloudy, nobody could see a thing. Luckily, things got a lot easier, and in 1836, Samuel Morse discovered that you can send messages via an electrical code, and the telegraph soon followed. The only problem there was, if you couldn't read the code, you had no idea what was going on. So it's a pretty good job then that Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in 1876 and gave the world the first real-time communication solution. 100 years after Bell, and after massive investments in global telephone exchanges, the first commercial mobile network was launched in Japan in 1981. The birth of the internet shortly followed. Its arrival in 1983 revolutionised telecoms and pioneered the way for a globalised communication system. Next came the world's first smartphone, which was released by IBM in 1994, almost 15 years ahead of Apple's iPhone. The first VoIP telephone solution was introduced in 2003, meaning phone calls were capable of being transmitted over a computer via internet protocols. This meant that long-distance charges were not applicable, as callers would use already established computer networks. Taking advantage of this new technology, in 2005, 3CX was born. We were the first IPPBX to utilise the SIP open standard, web RTC gateways, and offer integrated clientless web conferencing. Fast forward to today, and 3CX is a global telecoms player, with over 250,000 installations worldwide, and numerous awards for our unified communication solution. Thank God we're not still sending smoke signals, hey?